Hi there, it's real estate coach Josh Vian, and welcome to our brand new coaching series. We're gonna be doing a few short videos over the next couple of days to really help you to achieve your potential, no matter what it is that you're in pursuit of. What I know is that there is a big change that's coming for you. And when you have a look inside of the real estate industry, we've never seen so many different things flying at us. There's so many different challenges around what's happening with social, what should I be doing around database, what are the fundamentals of actually just being a really good salesperson? How do I scale? Which brand should I work with? And what are all the things that I need to do as a great agent? But what I worked out really quickly is that when I look back over the course of the last 10 years, there's just so many things that I wish I had have known before I started. And they're kind of like the shortcuts to success, the things that like you didn't even think about. And you know what? There's so much more work to get to where you want to go than what you anticipate. But when you actually get in there and you start doing it, then things really can change for you. Now, the big change that's coming for you is to learn to adapt to the market conditions of the day and realizing that if you're going to be a great agent over the course of the next 10 or 20 years, you're going to need to learn how to do what you're doing sustainably and not burn out. The big change that's also coming is about learning how to understand what is the difference between something that the industry is interested in and what actually works to be able to generate you more business more often. What you'll soon discover is that what you do inside of your real estate career, it's just like a game. You need to think about how do you get the very best people on ground that it can actually help you to achieve your potential. And most importantly, how can you learn to play the game that as conditions change, that you can still get the high score every day, every week, every month, every year, whatever it is that you measure your success by. And you start thinking well, more clearly, well, how do I actually really shift from where I am today to where I want to be? The big breakthrough comes when you realize that someone else's vision doesn't have to actually be your vision. And then what you discover is that once you put a plan in play, you've got to play with it. And too many people stop and start things and they're not in a position that they've actually got consistent flow. So don't change the plan. Let the plan change you. And what that means is that commit to doing the very simple things that can completely change your entire career. And you soon learn that you can't take advice from people that are far less successful than you. The problem with our industry is that there are so many supposed experts and everyone comes out with a completely new way on how to do things and what actually ends up being is it's just more confusing. And I actually just wanted to boil it down because I realized that sometimes I got advice myself from people that were less successful than me and it cost me two or three years in my career because I didn't really get to zoom in and think about what that would mean. And I remember starting out, I remember what it was like when the days when I get into the office and not have clarity about what to do and not know who to call and be worried about making a phone call in case I spoke to someone and I didn't actually know how to answer one of their questions if they actually asked me a question. And I remember what it felt like to have that fear of actually picking up the phone, of being in a position of not really knowing what to do when I went out to listing presentations. And don't get me started on pricing. I had no idea how to price a property or what to say to a client or one of my most embarrassing moments of actually signing up a client on an agency agreement and then realizing that when it came to the box where it said principal, I'd written in the name of the principal of the guy who ran the office as opposed to the name of the owner that actually owned the house. And that's when I realized that I was a complete rookie and an absolute amateur and I needed to learn and I needed to get some structure around me if I really wanted to go and get that success. And unfortunately, in the world that we live in today, we're not in a world that allows you to make mistakes certainly not publicly. We're in a world that actually enforces you being an absolute specialist around what it is that you do. We're in a brand new world where the customer is expecting us to do more for less. They're so urgent, they want things right now. And it's the evolution of the mobile phone in the course of the last 10 years that has completely changed all of our expectations. And we have people that come into the real estate industry that fundamentally expect to be a million dollar agent in like under a week. And they think that just a nice suit and a flashy car is gonna kinda do it. But yet when it comes to negotiating an extra five, ten, or twenty thousand dollars for a client, or knowing how to actually get a price reduction from a client, or being real with people, there's no authenticity because they actually don't know how to have those confronting conversations. An entire world that's been built on likes and comments as opposed to rejection and having to deal with all of those things that happen inside of your real estate career. If you don't have a vision, then nothing great happens for you because you gotta learn how to adapt to the conditions of the day. And if you can't adapt to the conditions of the day, you'll get thrown aside. 
And we're in situations where we've seen lots of different things happen over the years, from Brexits to GFCs, to changing market conditions, to five years of consecutive growth here in the Australian marketplace, to all of a sudden potentially being in a position where prices might come back by five or 10%. And those changes actually mean that you as an agent more than ever before need to be sharper, you need to be more agile, and most importantly, you need to be ready for what's ahead. Now more than ever before, you actually have to stand out. There's more agents than there's ever been before. It feels like there's a new agent on every street corner. And now as an agent, what you've got to do is you've got to learn how to separate because fees are under pressure, but most importantly, so are you too, about learning how you actually generate your business and what it is that you do. In our next video, we're going to talk specifically about why most people don't succeed and what you can do as an agent to beat them at that so you can actually achieve your potential and be the agent that you're capable of being. Whatever it is that you're in pursuit of, we're gonna help you to make it happen in this series.